How do you get the hot chicks? Back again with another exclusive from ChooseYourRelationships.com offer of boss life secrets what's going to be found on Amazon.com. So yeah, this is a question that I got from a long time listener. He wanted to know, how do I get the best of the best? The cream of the crop. How do I get the most beautiful women in the world? It's just like that. How do I get the... How do I attract more women? This is what basically he, he was wanting to know. And I'm going to tell you how I see it. And I'm going to tell you what works. I'm, I'm going to tell you what has worked for me. Personally. You know, because I don't talk theory when I do these videos and when I do these podcasts. So I'm going to tell you what's been scientifically proven to work. This ain't nothing. And you don't got to be a genius to do this. Anybody can do this. You know, I've told people, I explained this to people. And they went out and tried it and it worked for them. And this is really a business concept. This only this is much bigger than attracting women. This is just be sticking out, standing out, and becoming more attractive. Period. Just across the board. So here's how I see it. And before I get into that, like, share this video and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my podcast. This is how I see it. Now, you gotta look at it like this. In business, I learned this when I was in direct sales. You are the product. And see, in direct sales, it's not really the product that people are buying. People are buying a feeling, an emotion, a transformation. And women are very emotional. So when you so when a woman in, is around you, you have to make her feel a certain type of way. You have to make her feel like you're different. She it's a good idea. For her to feel like she likes herself more when she's around you. And this is the same concept I used when I was in direct sales. This is is how I was able to build a team of, I don't know, over 100 people. You know, and then those 100 people went on to duplicate and had some of the same successes I did. So... And all, and, and which leads me to my next point. If you build the people, they'll build a business for you. But you are the product. You have to be front and center. You know? And that's really how it go. And the packaging has to be right. So you have to evaluate yourself from your head to your toe. How's your hair cut? Do you like it? How's your dress, dressing? Your shoes? Your, 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 your teeth? Your breath? Um, <laughs> everything that's physically about you. It has to be the best you can be. Can it be, I did the best I can. If that's the best you can do, that's the best you can do. So, and the reason why this is important because sometimes you pose in the right clothes, you get chose. So, if you're a uh, Uh, a fresh dresser, if you come in fresh to death, if you come in, and I'm not saying you gotta wear a suit or a tuxedo all the time. I'm not even saying that. If you like dressing like that, 
if you like wearing a sport coat, if you like wearing khakis and polo uh, uh, shirts all the time, that's cool. I'm not saying you got to do that all the time. I'm not saying you got to be suited and booted all the time. But I'm saying whatever you wear, you have to represent to the fullest. When you walk outside, it could it should feel it should be like lights, cameras, and action. Who's that guy over there? Who's that guy that just walked through the door? You know, you have to stick out just a little bit. And to be honest, it doesn't take a lot to stick out today. You know, because most people are just wearing t-shirt and jeans. And I'm not saying anything wrong with t-shirt and jeans, but sometimes it's good to be different and like i always say in my book love can't wait being different is genius that's so that's all i'm saying you gotta you know every product has a is packaged differently so that's where you come in you're the product you have to wrap yourself and and you know dress the best you can as much as possible because if you pose in the right clothes you get chosen and the next thing i would say is uh promotion now um, promotion will be you know if you have a product you have to promote it if you have a uh if you're starting a movement you have to promote it if you're um doing anything that's massive on the next level you have to find a way to promote it. You have to get in front of the right people with the right message at the right time on the right platform. So you have to get in front of the right women. You have to go where the women that you want to meet are hanging out at. You know, because the right woman is not going to show up at your house. I'm sorry. It ain't, you can pray all you want. Nobody's going to show up at your house unless you invited them there. <laughs> and that's just what it is. Uh, you know, I, I, a lot of these religious people will say, hey, I'm a pray and the man going to show up. I'm going to pray and the, the woman going to show up. It ain't happening. If you don't get out there and meet people and make it happen, it, it ain't going to happen. You know, so you have to meet other people where they at. And sometimes you can meet other women that might even introduce you to other women. Or you might meet other guys that might even intru introduce you to other women. You don't necessarily have to go at it alone. So this is where the promotion comes in at. And a lot of times, you might meet women through your job, directly or indirectly. And a lot of times, um, your profession or your, your occupation or your career, um, it could boost your chances or give you more exposure to meeting women or just meeting people in general. And the reason why I say this is because women like being around movers and shakers. That's just what it is. They like, women like feeling like, like you're the top guy. They want the best guy that they can get. So if you're the, on the top of the food chain at the job, or you're on the top of the food chain in whatever profession, Women are going to be interested. That's just how it is. Now, some guys will say, well, why I want a girl that that likes me for me? Look, your job, your occupation, your career, it doesn't necessarily have to be a part of you. It's just something that you do and it happens to expose you to other people that you probably would have never met 
and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, who you are is one thing, but the job is another thing. That's okay. Your job doesn't have to be a part of your identity. I'm not saying that. You know, you have to know who you are at the core, but it's not your job to try to talk people into separating you from your occupation. That's their perception. That's okay. You can't control that. The only thing you can control is yourself. So when you're out here, meeting women, meeting people, just in general, people are not gonna see you the way you see you. That's okay. But how you see yourself is much more important than anything else. That's a fact. So, just these three elements, which is business concepts, have helped me and hundreds and thousands of other men and women out here. You know, because how you, some people say you never get a chance at making a, a first impression. I don't necessarily agree with that, but it doesn't hurt to make a good first impression. That's what I would say, you know. So this is really how you take your social life really to the next level, to put yourself out there in the best position to be more attractive and win. It's all about positioning. It's all about how you present yourself, how you carry yourself, how you walk, how you talk, how you look. Now, some people will say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but no, we all, we judge people by the way they look all the time, you know? So it is what it is. But now that you know that if you know people judge are going to judge you by how you look, it's in your best interest to look the best you can as possible when you're out in public. And it's best for you to present yourself in such a way where you represent and you know what to say, how to say it, and who to say it to. And if you need any help, any more help with this, go get my book, Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. You know? So, any questions, any concerns, send me an email at renegademoney at gmail.com. And if you need any additional help, go to sharpgame.net. That's sharpgame.net. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.